My name is Julianne Mason, I'm 11 years old, and I was diagnosed with a tumor at the age of nine. She came home and her ankle was swollen, and I said, oh, what happened? She said, oh, I fell. After a week later, I um, told my mom it was still hurting really bad. So the swelling didn't go down, and the physician advised us to see an expert. The first option was amputation. I was like, what's amputated? And she says, when they, when you don't have your ankle no one, when they just cut it off. It was just a matter of finding the right surgeon that could do the surgery. She needed a limb sparing surgery. My mom started looking up doctors and then that's how she found um, Dr. Morris. Amputation did not resonate with them. And that she would have genuinely been unhappy if she had at least tried this first. I want to try to save my leg first before I get amputated. The most nuanced part, I think, of what we do is matching the right operation with the right patient. There are lots of options out there, and all of those options probably will work fairly well. But if the patient doesn't want the option, then it doesn't work at all. 38 staples all the way up because I was really interested how many staples I had. When my mom finally found Dr. Morris, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Like a doctor who could actually do this type of surgery on my ankle to save my leg. It was like a really good blessing. By far the most important thing is to get rid of the tumor. So we took out uh, over 50% of the tibia bone, including all the way down to the ankle joint. We took the smaller bone in the leg, the fibula, transferred it over to where the tibia used to be, connected the remaining tibia down to the bone in her ankle called the talus. So what we essentially did is we rebuilt the leg by fusing her ankle. It was very difficult surgery, but she made it so comfortable for me and my daughter. What really stands out is my daughter did not experience any tremendous pain after the surgery. I'm glad that I'll be able to walk because like now when I'm walking it feels like a normal foot and like I'm practicing on being able to like stand on one leg again. I love to dance, I'm a self-taught, so I just love to do that like almost every day. And my big inspiration was Michael Jackson when he used to dance. <laughs> what are you doing? Michael Jackson. <laughs>